Imo State is noted for having rich culture which communities maintain and pass down from generation to generation. Among such cultural practices is the Ou Festival, which is celebrated annually from June to August. This festival takes place in many communities in the state, especially those in Njaba, Oro East and Isu local government areas. The festival and rules that guide it are well respected in communities like Awomama, Okodo, Omoaka, Amanduba, Ekwe, and Amore, among others. The Oru festival is used to usher in the New York Festival. Rural news tourism took us to Okodo in Njaba local government area of Imo State to learn more about the Oru festival. This is a market in Okodo. We begin our journey from this market, this is the busiest spot in the entire community. So let's move into town to start asking questions about this Ogu festival, which is one of the most important festivals in the entire community. Follow me as we move into town. <laughs> is a festival but it's also like a group only those who join the group or brotherhood can participate in the dancing and organizing the Ogu dance itself during the Ogu festival there is a display of peace masquerades with acrobatic dancing steps which add color to the memorable annual event among the masquerades that are showcased during this festival are Ohunzo, Okurusha, Onyejigeme, Egudo and Ebileri. These masquerades have their individual trademarks during the festival. The Ohunzo, for instance, appears only on the eve of the first day of the Ohu festival. It moves only at night and it moves round the village using a metal gong to announce that the Ohu will commence the next day. The Ohunzo only goes to the houses of the heads of the Ohu in each kindred. No one comes out to watch this masquerade move around and it moves from 12 midnight, visiting the houses of the heads of Ohu in different kindreds. The Okurusha, which appears in white apparel, primarily does the dancing during the festival. The Egudo carries cane and chases people, especially ladies, during the festival as part of the fun. The other masquerades, Ebileri and Onyejigeme, only showcase themselves with some graceful displays, collect money and move on. They don't display the Ogu dance steps and they don't chase people with cane. Meanwhile, the Ebileri masquerade has different names among which are Osisika Ibeya Elu, Mekoko, Ibu and Osisikanko. Another kind of masquerade called Egun Namarago appears after the Ogu has ended. It is made with only palm fronts and indicates that the Oru festival is over. This masquerade is worn by kids who move around the village asking for money. Once you see this masquerade, it means the Oru festival is over. Oru is a festival of peace and within the three months it is celebrated, the community prohibits quarrels of any form. Those caught engaging in fights are made to pay heavy fines.
It's been alleged that the Ogu is a pagan festival, but some elders in Okwodo community have dismissed that allegation as baseless. There, John, who is one of the most popular members of the old traditional group in Okodo, has this to say. We are here in the house of one of the heads of the Ogu. Now, Ogu is held by different families. Of course, there's an overall head, but there are different families that also hold and then take care of the Ogu. So we are here in the house of one of the heads and we are going to be speaking with him to get more about the history of the Oul Festival, the importance of the Oul Festival and why the community still holds it in high regards. So follow me to listen to this very interesting interview. Elder Ihe Kurubiri, who is also a very strong member of the Oul traditional group in the village, explained to us the process of the Oul Festival. I talk He also dismissed the view that the festival is a fetish one. Uh, 
Only men can belong in the Ohu traditional group. Only men are also allowed to participate in the dance. But women can watch and be present at the dance venues. But only one woman is allowed to dance the Ohu in an entire village. And that woman is the Ada Ohu, also known as the Ada Nchere. The Ada Nchere is allowed to participate in the dance. Ohu is danced four times. Those playing the instruments play it four times. That means the O is danced four times. But the Adanchere dances it five times. She is the only one allowed to dance the O five times. And as she dances, people spray her money. And that portrays her glory and benefit as the Ada O. The Ada O title does not go to anyone. It is believed to be a spiritual process which can fall on any lady. Otherwise, she is a kid or even at adult level. The elders have a way of identifying any lady that has been selected as the Ada Nchere. Whenever the Ohu is being organized at any venue, the Ada Nchere walks to the venue. She is given the space to dance. Now, as she walks from her house to the event, nobody accepts greetings from her until she gets to the event venue and finishes her dance. And while she is dancing, no one dares enter the arena to dance, otherwise that person will pay a fine of one big goat. You only have one adanchere, but Okodo has two divisions. The Ihebinama, the ones that live right in the area that leads into the community, and the Ihebinowere, those that live inside the community. These two areas have their adanchere. So when you go to an Ogu festival in Okodo and see two women dancing at an event, know that there are two adancheres that exist in the two major divisions of the village.
Odaike Alugo, Onye Nankeya, Origwe is the head of Oru in Umokurako, Kindred, Umokura Okwodo. We asked him about the origin of Oru Festival. <laughs> He also said that the Oru does not segregate among Christians and non-Christians and then laid a curse on anyone who will try to work against the peace that the Oru brings to the community. He also spoke about the benefits of Oru Festival to the people of Umokura Okodo. We take it to be happy and then uh, we make ourselves. Oh, 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 Indeed, the Oru Festival is one event that you should strive to witness any time that you are in Imo State during the summer.